Hi guys, I hope you're learning lots of techniques and you will remember them. Nevertheless, you can always come back to the course and check out these techniques and refresh your memory and use them. Using them and doing some exercises will really help you. It doesn't have to be exercises within the course. Anything that you would like to try, then it will cement in your memory and you will upgrade your skills. So in this lecture, you are going to expand your skills and learn about the source panel, mainly used to edit videos. Let's start. I'll create a new composition and let's call it source panel. So now you have a reference when you come back to this file, which composition we used to work with this source panel. I'll make it 20 seconds and let's put the background to black. Okay, that will be better. Click OK to create it. So I have the source panel over here. Now I have too many compositions here. To close them all except the source panel, you will come to the source panel name just like this and click. Okay, and then you can see here close other comp views and close all. I will close other comp views. I will select and here you are. All of them have been closed except the source panel. Let's take a footage, for example, pollution. Now, if you double click on the footage from the project panel, notice what's gonna happen. It's gonna open in the source panel. Well, it's called the source panel, though you can see the footage word here. It means the footage you are editing is pollution in the source panel. So that's why sometimes you find After Effects user calling it the footage panel. So notice now the composition panel is over here and the footage panel is over here. So if by mistake you double click on a video, for example, or an image, then it opens over here. You know you are in the footage panel and this is your composition. Of course, you can come and close it. So what can you do in the source panel? You can press spacebar to play your video and preview it. And notice here what you have. We have set in point to current time and set out point to current time. If you are a user of Premiere Pro, you should be very familiar with this panel. So obviously here you can come and set the footage. Notice the time. You can click on the time here. Of course, this is the time for the source. And say, for example, I want to start at four seconds. Here you are. So the playhead will jump to four seconds. Cool. You can set the in point, set in point to current time. There is no shortcut here. Then you can say, okay, let me go to eight seconds. Here you are. And click OK. And then I want to set the out point. Now you have the timing here. The in point is at four. The out point is at eight. And the duration is four seconds plus one frame. So now you have edited your footage. Okay, the first thing that happens, let's go back to the composition. If I click on the footage now and drag and drop it in the timeline, for example, at three seconds over here. Notice now the footage did not come completely. Only the duration that you have set in the footage panel has dropped inside the composition. So actually you have trimmed your initial footage. You have created a clip. Let's get it a bit more advanced. Let's duplicate the footage. So we have now pollution MP4 2. So I double click on it. And then here you notice what happened. All the timeline has been opened. So you can come over here, say, okay, I want uh, my first in point at one second. I will set the in point and let's go at uh, three seconds. I will use the time here just to get used to it. Okay, it is three seconds and then set the out point. So I have only two seconds here. Cool. So now, if I click on the footage, drag it and drop it in the timeline, for example, at 10 seconds. Notice what's happening. So now I have a different clip. Over here, I have this clip, which is, you know, four seconds, okay? And in here, I have another clip that is two seconds. You get me what you're doing, guys? You're practically cutting your video into clips. You duplicate your videos and cut them into clips. Well, think about it a bit, guys. If you're working, for example, with a video that is three minutes long, you have taken a video yourself uh, of uh, a gig or something, and you want to cut it in pieces in clips, the pieces are called clips, and start dropping them in the timeline and then organizing the visual effects and whatever motion graphics you want to add. This is a perfect method to create clips. This tip is very important and it's really quite professional where you can create video clips from your initial footage. Cool, guys? 
Now I'm gonna delete these two, remove them from the composition, and let's take another video. For example, old times. Okay, click and drag, put it in the composition just over here. Okay, let's come to six seconds here. You can go back to your source panel and decide, okay, these two seconds I don't like. I want to have only two seconds, but I want to move the in and out point. So notice in the middle here, there is some kind of three bars. Okay, you will see it if you're trying with me. And then you click and drag it. Okay, so actually, that's the footage I want to insert. But now, you have two options here to insert your footage. One is a ripple insert edit, and one is overlay edit. Now, the time indicator is at six seconds. Cool. If you use overlay edit, it's just create a new layer and add your footage. Here you are. And of course, it has jumped to the composition panel where you can start working. Cool. So the overlay edit is very easy. Now, something very important. When I drop the footage inside the composition is no more footage. I cannot re-edit from here in the footage panel. Just to bring it to your attention now, we'll do it in the next lecture. If I double click, I will be in the layer panel. Okay, guys? So be careful. If you want to edit the footage, you always come from the project panel. Let's undo and see exactly what the ripple insert edit does. The ripple insert edit is very common in video editing. What does it do? First of all, it will insert your footage in the panel. The in point will come in the time indicator. And all the footage on the right will be moved to the out point of the footage. Okay, guys, let me show you an example. If you click here, notice what happened. First, your footage has been inserted, and of course, it's a new layer. Then, it has cut the below layers, okay, where everything before the in point of your footage remained on the left, and everything that was on the time indicator is now at the out point of your new footage. You see, they start from over here. So actually, it has inserted your footage and moved everything to the right, starting from the out point of your footage. So mainly, this is the use of the source panel, is to edit your footage, put an in and out point, and decide if you want to do a ripple insert edit or an overlay edit. It's not complicated at all, mainly if you're used to video editing. But in After Effects, it looks weird because of the number of layers that are created here and how the layers are split. Okay, that's all about the source panel, the ripple insert edit, and the overlay edit. And I hope you get a long video that you have shot yourself and try to create clips by duplicating and setting the in and out point for every clip. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture.